I thought I had to find the bar first. There's a bar where you learn an ability. Ah, you oh, that might be way. this, actually. Good. I decided there wasn't much point in staying with the flyer. It's not going to get much worse, in my opinion. Uh-huh. Here. I salvaged this gem out of some sort of power source. I imagine you will have some use for it. Now that we're here, we should see if anyone knows anything about flyers. Maybe whoever is in charge of the town can help us get underway again. I will stay here at this new camp unless you need me. It seems like a good enough place to base ourselves out of. And we can talk to people and learn about them. Yay. Good fortune, you'd say. Good fortune. Intuition 5. And in spirit. Okay, that's similar to gentle persuasion. Um, I have the body in spirit. Well, this... I guess it's better than that. That works. I can't believe Two Rivers is gone. It was home. The people there were the only family I've known, and now they're all gone. Oh. I understand, Dawnstar, but the path you are on may lead to even darker places. You must prepare yourself. I don't want to think like that. We will set things right. We have to. I don't think we can. We may have to settle for vengeance. I... I know. I just wish there was a way to be put the Avengers. Back the way they were. Well, yeah, but there isn't. Silly. Is there anything you need? Uh, how are you? No, I didn't have anything pressing on my mind. Although your company is always welcome. We seem so far from anything familiar. Hmm. Strange enemies, troubling plots. I will be glad when we can leave this place to find Master Lee. I will answer what I. Uh, oh, okay. Can't really learn too much about people yet. Yes. Get more people. Is there something you want? Maybe. Why not the Lotus Assassin? I can assure you that I no longer share an allegiance with them. It was a short dalliance that ended on poor terms. Are you a matron now? Why did you leave them? I won't discuss that. Perhaps I will say more when I know your oh, motives no, better. Oh no, it's locked but behind an event past flag. Is my own. Shit. Very well, I'll be watching. I'm not concealing anything yeah, that whatever. Fine, be that way. Is there a trip? Good luck. So this is our camp. A box. It has money in it. Stuff. Um, where am I? This way? This way. This seems to be a way. Ah, oh, this might be the tavern. Not at your full near wound. Forgive me for being so forward. If you're wise, you will wound. turn around and leave this cursed and miserable town. Mother and I are getting out of this town. If you have any sense, you'll do the same. Oh, I don't. Hush, daughter, you must treat strangers with respect. Once we're outside of town, we must be careful with everyone we meet. Why are you leaving town? If I could, I would stay. I'm a simple villager and I've lived my whole life here. My daughter and I must venture into the wilderness. It's sure to be more exciting than this dead place. Is that it? Though impulsive, my daughter Fu Yao speaks truly. The great dam downriver has opened and the river is too low and treacherous for anyone to navigate. We are cut off from the Empire. People are starving and pirates terrorize the town. Our leader, Minister Sheng, seems powerless to do anything, so we choose to try our luck in the wilderness. Oh. Don't leave, perhaps I can save the town. A noble sentiment, one I respectfully fear will do little to help us. I don't know the whole story. Mr. Sheng would probably pay someone to close the dam. No one's brave enough to do it. Some claim it's ghosts, some think it's pirates. I don't know. All I know is there seems to be no way to get the dam closed. Eh, so you take the coward's path into worse dangers. Heard of the dangers, pirates and slavers and stuff. Those pirates must be Gao the Greater's men. 
We know that he has holdings near here, and he has flyers. I don't know why they had to do a second language. It's kind of dumb. I've never heard of Gal the Greater. Pirates terrorized this region for many weeks. Anyone wandering the wilderness knows they risk being caught by slavers. Some believe there are worse things than wilderness. Ghosts that torment the living. It's better than sitting in teens landing waiting to die. Okay, fine. Go away. I'm tired of talking to you. Speak with Minister Shen. Better plan would be to get away. Okay, we'll have a good time. Enjoy your death in the wilderness. Yep, this is what I was waiting for. Cool. The best ability. Out of our way, woman. In this town, we don't step aside for you. You step aside for us. The peasants of this village may cower before you, but I do not. If you are smart, you will apologize for your behavior and walk away. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> you think I won't hit a woman? You have to learn your place. I'm a this special kind of asshole. To learn its place. I mean, I guess I've hit women. At? This doesn't concern you. But they were also martial artists, so it's okay. Uh, watch while you rough. Leave her alone, or you'll answer to me. <laughs> Time to teach you all a lesson. Oh, please do. White demon. <laughs> 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 I was back at the camp when I heard the sounds of battle. I got here as fast as I could, though obviously I arrived too. Hui, what are you doing here? It's been a long time, Zhu. I haven't seen you since that night. I did as you asked. The child is safe. I made sure of that. What now? I know. After we spoke, I followed you. I... I wanted to be sure she was given a good home. Hmm. You did well, Hui. I'm a little too dense to figure this one out. Child? What child? Hui and I knew each other long ago. She was a soldier, and I... I needed her help. There was a child. An orphan. I knew Hui could find a good home for her. Uh-huh. That doesn't really concern me. Yes, those are old worries. <laughs> Thank you for your actions today. <laughs> Even if these men were no real threat, just simple sailors frustrated at the shallow river that holds them here. Former assassin... Girl. There are pirates in the Small area, hermit. and they pose a far greater danger. You will likely encounter like them, found especially if you are the trouble. one I am waiting for. Yeah. As Sagacious Zoo mentioned, my name is Hui. Tell me, young man, what is your master's name? Um, can we be stupid? My master's true name is Sun Lee, the glorious strategist. I have waited here many years for the arrival of one special fighter. Your master, Sun Lee, bid me to wait until you, his protege, came seeking information. Okay, when? Like, how so long ago was this? Master Lee really is the Emperor's brother. I wish... I wish I had known. He is gone, isn't he? Taken by the Lotus Assassins just as he thought. He knew they were always searching. They are right to fear him and his legacy. The glorious strategist was certain the path to the Imperial City would bring you here. He was also very specific about how I present my information to you. You must be ready. Mm -hmm. Uh, he must have given his orders very long ago. You are very loyal, or very foolish. I served under Sun Lee and was one of a few soldiers he trusted enough to contact after Dirge fell. Lee knew the events there would have great consequences. He told me of the weeks-long siege and how spirit monks were slaughtered so his brother could take their temple. It was madness. The Emperor killed the Water Dragon itself. He killed Mummy. The Water Dragon? The Shepherd of the Dead, a goddess of rebirth. To try and steal her power, she to might even think it could be dragon. attempted. Has any mortal ever the shown blue such scaled arrogance? blue-scaled spirit. <laughs> Not much of a god if she fell to Emperor's bluster. There are many beings that exist beyond our experience. The heavens are governed by a celestial bureaucracy. 
Each facet of existence is managed by a specialized attendant. Mm -hmm. Most appear to have little influence, but some, like the Water Dragon, have a portfolio that grants exceptional status. She was said to have governance over the Great Wheel. What now? She was not a maker, but all life that ended passed her gaze before returning to the Earth in another form. Sun High sought rebirth for his empire at the cost of the natural order. Her body was taken to the palace as a grim trophy of the power that ended the long drought. All the while, the people hailed the emperor as a hero, ignorant of the price. How could the emperor kill a god? The water dragon's power was tied to her temple at Dirge and the strength of her servants. When the spirit monks were slain and Dirge fell, she became vulnerable. Hmm. Her physical form could be injured, but she was also a god. Maybe her spirit still exists. I don't know. I'm no expert on the heavens. Obviously. Uh, uh, uh. Emperor destroyed my people to take the water dragon's power? Even a god is not invincible. They have their place, and it can be challenged. Sun Li could not stop the slaughter of the spirit monks. He fled the battle with you in his arms. Uh -huh. Most believe Sun Li fell at Dirge, a lie spread by the Emperor. A handful of us knew that he lived, and we also learned the terrible price of his rebellion. Li's wife was with child, his daughter born in the Imperial Palace while he was at Dirge. He never saw her. Within weeks of the siege, the Emperor had Li's family executed. Executed. Murdered. The Lotus Assassins were to cut them down. A mother and newborn child. Uh, I have no doubt that order came from Death's Hand himself. Uh, how, how do you know that? No wonder Master Lee hates the Emperor. He probably didn't think his family would be harmed, but even had he known, he might still have saved you. Lee knows you have a destiny to fulfill. You're the last of your kind. Am I the dragonborn? The natural order has been disrupted. I guess I am, there is much to say, but first, I was instructed to impart some very specific knowledge. Your master was very clear. Yay! You can trust Hui, so I don't think there's any reason for me to stick around. I'll be back at the camp if you need me. I don't. Zhu is an honorable man. Not a good man, perhaps, but an honorable one. Now to your training. A brief description will reinforce in your mind the style you saw me use. You presume to teach me? Certain lessons had to be withheld until you were ready for the attention they will bring. Sun Li taught me so that I would teach you. I must train you in Spirit Thief. There's a plot related power. Magic and weapons tire you. Draw on them too much and you could be left defenseless. Spirit Thief restores your chi, prolonging your ability to fight or ignore wounds. It is especially useful when enemies are immune to basic martial attacks, when you must use magic or weapons. It can even immobilize a foe, allowing time to recover even more. This short lesson should be enough for now. Come speak with me in the tea house. We will talk of your master and more. Yay, we learned a new thing. That's the only support style we're going to use. I don't know, there is a better one later, but... Oop. Yep. Oh. I already got rid of him. Okay, um... Do you got anything? Can't talk. Here you are. Is there anything you need? Oh, we can just ask her the normal stuff. You guys got anything? Goofy the stranger sweet. stranger here, aren't you? I know everyone in Tian's Landing, and I've never seen you before. I would remember you. <laughs> you should turn right around and leave this town. That's what people say. You can't tell me what to do. Forgive me, Great One. I meant no offense. I only meant that you should leave our town because it is doomed. I was only trying to warn you. Oh, fair enough. Everything in Tian's Landing is falling apart. Sheng, the local minister, is helpless to deal with all our troubles. You should get out while you can. So, who are you? I am Gufu, Great One. 
Some call me Gufu the Sweet, though I don't know why. I usually smell like the fish I sell. Perhaps they are making fun of me. Deservedly so. But now, there are no fish to sell. I have lived in Tien's Landing all my life, but now I'm ashamed to say I wish I lived somewhere else. Uh, why do you wish that? Everything in Tien. Oh yeah, we did that. Tell me about the You trunks. don't know? The Great Dam has Great been Dam. opened. Okay, the heard merchants about that. can't buy goods from the Imperial City. The traders can't sell to the outside world. The men cannot fish, and our children go hungry. Mm -hmm. And if that wasn't bad enough, we have the pirates to work. And we heard about all that. Why is, it, why is the river low if the dam is open? The dam is downriver from uh, us. When it was closed, it slowed the flow of the river, causing it to back up. And the but enough. with the dam open, the water drains away too quickly, and our river. Okay, cool. I guess I'll work on that then. There are ghosts wandering. Yeah, I heard. Ghosts. Ghosts and goblins and witches and bugaboos and all sorts of what have you. This guy. Who Bukta. let you back here? I Bad just enough on this walk work with here. incompetence. I don't need you walking through my kitchen. Pull up a little velvet like rope or you something. think you can just walk back here for food any time? If I wanted human interaction, I'd have a kiosk in the square. Or maybe a trough. I identify with this guy. Why a trough? Well, we don't feed the animals, Mr. Tay. That's handled by the farmers. Step back, Mr. Wong. You just... step back. You will show me proper respect, dog. You see, Mr. Wong, that is how we are regarded. Dogs to be brushed aside. Talk like that will not get you a meal at the best of times. Are you going to tell me about all the problems? What do you know about the spirit world? The spirit world? <laughs> you are talking about stories for children. I believe what I see. If I see it, it is real. Very simple. If you want some deeper discussion than that, go to a temple. Me, I will stay here and cook for the living. Okay. I'm gonna go now. Good. I need... Well, I can't speak with you. Mr. Tay is very strict. Found a box. One thing about the older Bioware games is there are perhaps too many people to talk to. Kind of a nice thing in Mass Effect 2. There's like three people in a given area. What in God's name is wrong with you? Please, please excuse me. I, I know I shouldn't be crying you, in public like this, but really I just... You really shouldn't. I just can't help it. Goodness, you're pretty. Sobbing is annoying. What's wrong? Please, I'm just a humble woman. My name is Seamstress Lawn, and I have a problem I don't know how to solve. I thought... I thought you could help, but I was afraid to speak to you. As well you should be. It's my fiance, Baker Bay. Mm -hmm. Every day a group of thugs attacks him and beats him up. Jesus. He tries to avoid them, but they find him wherever he goes. But why? The beatings are getting worse. I'm... I'm terrified they're going to kill him. After I saw you take on those sailors, I thought... Well... Uh -huh. uh, there's more to the story? But there isn't! My poor Bay has done nothing to these men. They attack him for no reason at all. I Please, doubt you it. you have to help him. I... How much can you pay me? For the life of my fiancé? I will give you my entire dowry. Bay is a good man who will marry me even without it. And my dowry is a small price to pay to keep him alive. You like silver. Okay. Thank you so much, kind sir. You don't know what this means to me. If our firstborn is a boy, he shall have your name. Oh, please don't do that to someone. Bay is down at Beggar's Pier right now, in the southeast corner of town. If you hurry, you can probably get there before the thugs attack him today. I want there to be a time skip in the game, and then you come back to the town years later. A little sweaty hong this running around, getting into hijinks like and mischief. Structure. Oh, lord. Improvised weapons like table legs, huh? Good, you're here. We can continue where we left off before. I guess, if you have to. You've got unfinished business with us first. Say. Oh, there are important matters at hand, yet you fellows keep interrupting. I'm surprised you're this eager to get another beating so soon. 
This time we brought some friends to even up the odds. <laughs> this is silly. <laughs> White Demon. Oh, River Pirates. Non-star, you're kind of fencing me in. Doesn't give me a lot of mana back, but well, that's why we have that monk stuff. Anything else? Oh, we leveled up. Sweet. Damn it, gone. Sword gives me a nice bit of extra reach, which kind of balances out you some of White look Demon's like flaws. Me's top student, though there's something odd about how you fight. I can't put my finger on it. It doesn't matter. This That's sailor won't said. bother us again. I'm sure it's not important. We can get back to business. Sun Li gave me instructions to await you if, if anything should happen. I have prepared for this day for well over a decade. I'm only ten years old. A well over a decade. Saying Master Lee knew he'd be kidnapped? The full extent of what the glorious strategist knows is beyond my mind to comprehend. He is without peer. All I know is that I had instructions to wait for you. Hmm. Sun Lee asked me to seek a piece of a special amulet he wanted you, his prized pupil, to have. It was broken apart and scattered when the spirit monk temple fell. He intended to, and I assume he did, give the main piece to you. Rumor placed a smaller part with a fleeing apprentice monk, but it had been some years and the trail was cold. Oh. So you search for the rest of the amulet. I eventually learned the monk had fled to Old Tien's landing. He was there a year or so, but died of lingering injuries and was buried with his possessions unsorted. It was rushed at the time because the new dam was due to close and Old Tien's would become a watery tomb. The amulet was beyond reach, so I came here and waited. Now the Lotus Assassins have drained the lake and exposed the ruins of Old Tien's landing. It seems they are searching for this piece of the Spirit Monk amulet too. Probably sort that out. I should go to the ruins and try to do that. Yes, Sun Li intended you to find it. I was to tell you about it if anything happened to him. It was the last order he gave me, and I have waited years to fulfill my duty. Hmm. What if my flyer worked? You would have waited for nothing. I choose to believe that my service was valuable and vital. You would have come here eventually. The amulet would draw you at least. Yeah, sure. Uh... I have a lot ahead of me, I should go. Remember, go to the ruins and claim the amulet before the Lotus Assassins do. You will need it to survive the trials that lie ahead. There, there's no actual time pressure. It's not like the old, old Bioware. Anything useful here? What do you Hello, got? Hello! Greetings! Welcome! My name is Steeper Yanru, and I'll be... No, that's not right. Not right at all. Idiot! I'm Barkeep Yanru now, not Steeper Yanru. Sorry, what? I'm sorry about that. I still can't get the hang of this new position. Sometimes I wish old Mother Quan still owned the tea house so things could go back to the way they were. What are you getting at? Did that change owners recently? Old Mother Quan used to run the place until Dutong bought it. Well, buy isn't quite right. It's complicated. Talk to Mother Quan oh, if you want the whole story. Quest. I used to steep the tea here. They called me Steeper Yan Ru. But now Dutong says I'm going to be the new barkeep. I'll have to give out advice and wine in equal doses. Hmm. Well, give me some advice, then. Sure. Just remember, I'm pretty new at this. I'm still practicing. Uh, let's try this one. Every bureaucrat knows a tree grows toward the light, but a rock grows not at all. I know. It's a very, um... <coughs> it's a very... Welcome to the part that's after the tutorial, where you have a lot of shit to solve for people. What does that mean? I have no idea. <laughs> New Tong just had me memorize a bunch of wise sayings. None of them make much sense to me. Maybe they'll sound better if people drink the wine. Hmm. Worth a shot. Oh, give me the wine then. Slow down, my friend. I can't serve you wine yet. I'm not I'm a sorry, real barkeep. What? Master Du Tong just has me practicing, so I'll be ready when he turns this place from a tea house into a tavern. What the hell good are you? 
Master Dutong wants me to practice giving out advice for now. He wants me to stay focused until I get the hang of it. No wine. No. Farewell. Take care. Yeah. You're... Okay. Old Mother Quan, you said. Hello, oh, young God. one. Thank My goodness name she speaks is Quan, English. but everyone calls me Old Mother Quan. O of course they do. I'd like you to call me that too, okay? Do you think that's why everyone calls you that? Welcome to my tea house. Oh, that's not right. No, not anymore. Sorry about the this confusion, dear. This is gonna be like what the old lady in Deadly Premonition. Was, welcome to Master Dutong's tea house. Oh. Uh. Uh, you used to own the tea house? Yes, yes, I owned the tea house for many, many years. At least I thought I did. But then Master Dutong came to town with that Imperial writ. Oh my, wasn't that a shock? Turns out his family owns this land. They have for hundreds of years. The land is his along with everything on it, so now he owns my tea house too. Huh. That's convenient. He was nice enough to let me stay on here as a helper. I steep the tea. Yan Wan takes the orders, and Master Dutong, uh, well, he mostly just drinks his wine. Did you check the writ? Now, why would I do such a thing? I can't even imagine anyone being so horrible they'd forge an imperial writ. No, I'm sure the land belongs to Master Dutong. Uh. Oh. Well, I think I'm going to talk to him about it. That is very nice of you, my child, but what could you do? I would love to have my tea house back, but it belongs to Master Dutong now. You can't argue with an imperial writ. Well, as you said, it's a piece of All paper. This talk is just I can do whatever I want. Old woman. Put it out of your head and enjoy yourself. It may not be mine anymore, but this is still a fine tea house. He also looks like a Muppet. Oh yeah, leveling up. Alright. Right. Um, poor body. I'm bad at the game and I keep getting... ...style points that we need to save. I imagine he's upstairs. Where I'd be. Where are you? Oh god, you look like you're gonna be fun. I may be drunk, but that doesn't mean I am a drunk. Because okay. I'm not. Well, just a little bit. But I'm brave, too. I'm going to go close the great dam and save the town. Good for you. I'll be a hero. Well, that'll show them. Well, that'll show them all. I just need another drink to get my courage up. A hell of a face. Wine! Oh, God. Someone bring me more wine. Hey. You've been saying that for three days, Rue. Minister Shang's already looking for other people to close the dam, and you'll look a fool after all your boasts. Yeah, you should go to the dam. You're I doubt the wind. that man could open a door, never mind a dam. We're not opening the dam, Dawn. Let's try to keep up. Shit. Hey, pirates. Look at these it? town folk gla- Thought you guys wanted to rumble. You guys are boring. You're boring me. You. Kindly you, Sean. Can't you just leave an old man in peace? I said you were nice. I'm nobody important. Nobody at all. And I have nothing to say to You're you. You're not nice at all. I'd talk to anybody I damn well please, mister. Why are you bothering me? I've done nothing to you. I'm just a tired old man trying to drink his tea. Tired old man is about to get a foot up his ass. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't come too much. Sorry can't erase our mistakes. Sorry can't change the past. Jesus. You're grim. Talking. Nothing. It's not important. Not anymore. Just... Maybe we need to fix the tea house first. Who the hell are you? Oh. You're a Russian or something. Hello there. Sorry you were caught in the middle caught me in the middle of eating. That you said five syllables. Who am I kidding? I'm always eating. What can I do for you? Who are you? you master Cook? Not the guy out back. You've never had food like mine before. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. It's too bad people outside my home of Shangdang country cannot seem to stomach the delicacies I prepare. They don't know what they're missing. 
As recently, in the city, not one person there could eat so much as two of my dishes. Such weak constitutions. I could eat more than two of your dishes. And perhaps you could, though I should warn you. Foods from my country can have some unusual effects on people. This is very bad. For example, this dish of roasted cow heart sautéed with the bile of a leopard has a particularly nasty effect on one's constitution. Other dishes like my monkey brain stew can have a negative effect on the workings of the mind. Still others can deplete one's spirit. It's quite dangerous if you eat too much of one type of food, or if you're particularly weak in certain areas of your character. I will try your food. Just out one. Let's make this more interesting. Anyone can eat food, but can you eat three of my dishes? Give me 300 silver, and if you eat all three dishes in a row, I'll give you back your money, and you'll leave none the poor but well fed. Yeah, sure. Remember, though, these dishes tend to take a little out of you. Hint, hint. I'll describe the dishes that affect constitution, followed by those that affect mind and spirit. And I'll eat along with you so you know it's safe. Roasted bear heart, monkey brain stew, or shark spleen soup. It's fresh shark, Mike. I want the roasted bear heart. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, yeah. You must be quite healthy. Next three dishes are more potent. Careful what you choose. Pickled haunch of deer served with brown beetle paste, cold eagle eye soup, and jellied eel stuffed with fermented seaweed. Give me the eagle eye soup. The presence of mind is astounding. So we move on to the last dishes. These are some of the most notorious recipes in Shangdang. Choose carefully. Boiled ox testicles smothered in a succulent cream sauce. Ah, that's what she said. Curdled porcupine bladder in clabbered rats milk. I don't even know what that would be. And raw alligator eggs served in warmed goat's gall. God, well, I guess... <laughs> feeling healthy. Two testicles. Fantastic. Three dishes and you're still standing. I'm the first person outside of Shandang to ever consume that much of my cooking. Couldn't possibly keep your silver after such an excellent display. I will gladly give you back your 300 or we can make this interesting. You're really daring. I have one last dish that I haven't even had the nerve to try myself. I'm sure it's safe, I think. No telling how it might affect us. Yeah, sure, I'm good. It has no name yet, or at least none I can pronounce. I learned from a loud, annoying foreign man I met in the city. The ingredients are rare and cost me quite a bit to procure, especially while I'm stuck in this quaint village. I need another 300 silver. Of course, if you survive this final dish, I'll gladly reimburse you everything. I may even have a few treasures I can part with. I would like to save. Yeah, sure, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Nothing venture, oh, nothing yeah. gain. Kukwani, senior, if you can, yeah, try to describe yeah. the taste to me, what it does to you. And remember, this is for posterity, so please, be honest. You survived! What I wouldn't give around to have you around the kitchen back home. You are simply astounding. Literally, right? How did it taste? What did it do to you? It was less painful than the other dishes. You should try it. It depleted every aspect of my being. It is dangerous stuff. That is dangerous, indeed, but highly intriguing. There are a few dishes sort of poison that have that capability. Please take your silver in this. It's a small trinket that belonged to my family. I have no use for it. You've certainly earned it. Excuse me, I must go in search of new ingredients. It seems you've eaten everything I have. Good fortune. The Bronze Tongue. And 500 experience. Sexy. I think it's a... What's what's the thing? What am I looking for? No, not stats. Where was it? Techniques. No? What the hell is it, then? Oh, it is a gem. Poor charm, intimidation, and intuition. It's not the worst thing ever. 